Hey y'all, I'm Rylan. Welcome to my channel. Today is February 14th, so happy Valentine's Day to y'all. I decided that to treat myself on this special day, I was going to go to the bookstore and buy some books. I am filming this vlog intro a little bit early because I do have to go into the office in a couple of hours. I feel so fancy saying that. My first big girl job. Anyway, but I do plan to go to Books and Company after I am done at work. So I wanted to take you all along on the journey with me. I don't plan to go overboard in the bookstore. I have my sights set on like one to three books, specifically romance, but watch me walk out with like three thrillers and no romance. I am hoping to just kind of wander the bookstore for a little bit, um, treat myself for Valentine's Day, and yeah, just buy a couple of new books. I think this will be the second time that I've been in a bookstore during 2022, so I am very excited. I love shopping for books, but I have been trying this year to not purchase as many, so I haven't been going to the bookstore, and yeah, I haven't been going to the bookstore, which is definitely a good thing for me, but I miss it. So I'm very excited to get to go inside today and just kind of roam around my local books and company. In the first book shopping vlog that I uploaded last July, I shopped around my local Barnes & Noble, so I thought I would switch it up today and go to Books & Company instead. I also think that my local Books & Company has a better romance section than my Barnes & Noble does, so I'm hoping to find like some really good books in that section. I am kind of like vibing with historical romances right now, so I will be looking to buy at least one of those in the bookstore. Maybe more than one? I don't know. Like I said, I'm not going to go overboard in this shopping vlog. I just wanted to, you know, get a couple of books for myself as a celebration of Valentine's Day. But yeah, I will be taking you all along on the journey with me in a couple hours. I also plan to get Starbucks either on my way into the office or after I leave the office and I will be grabbing a dinner for myself as well. So I'll take you all along on that journey with me. So yeah, y'all will follow me along for the day as I kind of treat myself for Valentine's Day, but this will mostly be a book shopping vlog. I just wanted to include my Starbucks and dinner in there as well. So y'all will get little glimpses of that too. I will be back in a couple of hours, likely with my drink and heading into the bookstore. I cannot wait to show you all around my local books and company and hope you all enjoy.
I almost did a very bad thing and bought five books instead of three, but I contained myself. That didn't end up happening. I only bought three books. I will show you all the three books that I got really fast, but first I wanted to share that my dinner is going to be Chipotle. Very excited about it. I used to not like Chipotle at all, but something has changed in the past couple of years and now it's one of my favorites. I'm gonna go inside really fast and then I will show you all the books that I got to wrap up this vlog. Okay, so the first book that I got and one that I wasn't even like expecting to find in a books and company was the matte hardcover of The Crown of Gilded Bones. I have from Blood and Ash and A Kingdom of Flesh and Fire, um, the first two books in this series in the matte cover hardbacks. And at like the end of last year, I started looking for the matte hardback of this book. Specifically, I went to Barnes & Noble a couple of times and they only sold the paperback or the shiny hardback cover uh, from Blood and Ash. So I never bought it there and when I saw it at Books and Company, I just went ahead and snagged it because I really like the matte covers. Um, yeah, so I went ahead and snagged this one. Now my trilogy is complete. I know that it's not just a trilogy. Dang it, the air just turned on. I know that this is not a trilogy. Like I know there's gonna be more books in the series, but I just, I would like to have them match if possible. So yeah, I just went ahead and snagged it while I was there. If I never ended up like being able to find this one in the matte hardback, I would have just bought the paperback because, you know, like I think it's worth it because I really enjoyed the first book um, and think that books two and then this one are going to be even better than from Blood and Ash. So yeah, I just went ahead and snagged it while I saw it in stock. Definitely was not expecting to find it in stock at Books and Company, but I did, so I bought it. And then I also bought two historical romances in the mass market paperback. The first one that I got was The Princess Stakes. This is a historical romance about this princess from India who escapes. She's on the run from her family, I assume, and she ends up like reuniting with an old flame of hers. So I am expecting all of the like second chance like vibes or maybe like we got some enemies to lovers going on. I don't know. I don't know what's going on, but I'm really excited for it. And then finally I bought Where Dreams Begin. This one I had not heard of by um, this author. I have read one other book by her in the past and I enjoyed it, I think. I've enjoyed most of the historical romances, except for one that I hated only because of one trope, but that's not the point of this video at all. Anyway, yeah, I've read one book by this author before and I really enjoyed it. And this book was like sitting like in the new release section of Books and Company, although I don't think it's a new release. It might have just been like re, like recovered, I feel like. I don't know. I don't know why it was sitting in like the new release section or something like that, but I saw it and I snagged it. I think this is a standalone. Um, at least there wasn't like a series number next to it in Goodreads. I could be wrong about that. But this is a tale about a brash rogue who meets his equal in a woman who knows exactly what she wants. I love a good historical romance and I'm so excited for both of these books. I have read one historical romance this month. I'm currently reading another one and then I'll be reading another one this week. So. I'm feeling in the mood for all the historicals right now, and I'm very glad that I was able to snag these two while I was in Books and Company. So that is my little book haul and book shopping vlog for Valentine's Day. I am very excited about all of these books and cannot wait to get to them soon. I really wanted to make the best of Valentine's Day, so I'm very glad that I had the time, uh, yeah, to go to the bookstore after work and pick up some dinner for myself. Happy Valentine's Day to y'all out there. By the time this video is uploaded, it will probably be February 15th, but regardless, happy Valentine's Day. You deserve all of the love. Thank you so much for watching this book shopping vlog and I will see you all in the next video.